Um, results are nice, but uh, you also want to get as much out of these at bats as you can. How did it feel today versus yesterday? I mean, getting the kids with the ball pretty hard hit. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, hit the ball hard three times, and like I said, the, the results were pretty good. But uh, it's more just about the process and, and feeling good. You know, making sure you can swing and and play the field and run the bases and have no issues and um, physically feel great. Uh, no, I mean, a little bit. I mean, there's a, a lot of this is uh, timing and, you know, getting ready. And the past week I was I was hitting the ball real well down in Florida and doing really well. And then had a couple of bats where I just, my timing was a little off today. And then I, my last at bat, I changed that and, you know, got the head out on the bat a little bit more. So that's part of baseball, you know. There, there's a lot of ups and downs and trying to get back and trying to realize. And sometimes you need to have bad at bats to get back to, you know, knowing what you're doing wrong to, to hit well. So I'm going to take that in tomorrow. And, uh, Keep grinding out. We got 100 more games plus, and you just got to keep grinding. That's all. That's all what baseball's about. Yeah, but, uh, Ashman, you know, when I made the comment yesterday, you're pitchers, you know, you're not, you're not familiar with them anymore. You've been facing pitchers you work with. That's got to make, you know, you're probably more comfortable uh, hitting against the guys, the Red Sox guys, than the Yuri guys, just because you know them better. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I think a lot of times, uh, I, I think, uh, Rehab assignments are tough too. Uh, you just want to get out there. You want to play. You want you want to feel healthy <coughs> and get. But, Thank you. But you know, it, it's it's a different adrenaline level, and it's a, it's a different thing once you go back up to the major leagues and play. And you know, not to say that you can't do the same things here. It's just it's just different. It, it's very different, and uh, you know, we try to prepare ourselves and do the same things. But once you get to the major leagues, you're, you you have these routines that you're used to, and down here, it kind of throws you off a little bit because it's different. You know, it would be good to get back up and get back to our normal routines. Physically, you're feeling like yourself again? You're feeling 100%? Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Uh, I haven't felt 100% since I got signed <laughs> in Boston. <laughs> no a, no one's ever 100%. <laughs> I say once we sign our contracts in the maybe some, leagues. Maybe some of the kids when they, you know, <laughs> rookie ball and A ball, but and they're not even 100%. We saw them. They're on the training table, too. <laughs> yeah. No, I, we feel good. I, I, I feel good, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I never want to miss a game. I mean, Kevin and I have both been guys that have, have uh, like you said, grinded out our whole careers, played hurt our whole careers. Uh, and there are certain things you can't play through. Um, our injuries you can't play through. Um, so it's been it's been tough. Um, I know for me personally. I have tons of confidence in our guys, and um, you know we're gonna, we're going to turn it around. You know every team has ups and downs, and right now is just a little bit of a you know down period. Hopefully it's a close game tonight. Hopefully we can come back and get on a winning streak. Mark, it's been a long time for you. Uh, is there a certain amount of comfort that you can take out of the fact that you won't be living out of a suitcase? <laughs> yeah, you know it's um, I enjoy my time in Tampa, but uh, in in February and March I enjoy my time in Tampa. You don't want to be there during during the season because that means means you're hurt and you're not with the team. So it'll be nice to be back home. In theory, a lot of these guys are going to be your teammates down the road. Was there anybody you played with for the past few days who really stood out to Slade, I mean, I think, you know, Heathcott's got, uh, he's got a lot of tools. Um, that ball he hit yesterday, that's impressive. I mean, that's an opposite field line drive that, um, I mean, he probably hit that ball close to 400 feet, you know, so uh, he, he impressed me. I, yeah, I mean, I would say I'd say all three outfielders are pretty good players. Uh, that's that's a it's gonna be a really good outfield in Double A. Guys put together some really good at bats, but you know, there's a, the big one for me. I think is uh, Jr. behind the, the plate. I think uh, with how well he hits and how well he can, if you know, defensively, if he's great behind the dish, uh, he's gonna make it pretty far because he's got a pretty good bat. And, and I saw him in spring training a little bit. I liked him a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, some of the guys talk, and you know, the thing is, we th there's a lot of those guys we saw in spring training, um, so we had a lot of time to talk with them. So a lot of these guys, there, there's a few guys I didn't see in spring training. So, but you know, being here two days, you don't really get that much time to talk and do a lot of stuff. But you know, seeing these guys in the spring training that we got to work with and talk to, and you know, it's it, it's fun. Um, but then you kind of like almost feel like you're getting old and like a coach sometimes when you hear these ages, especially when we're down in. Extended. Yeah, like, there were some 16-year-olds in extended, and so. <laughs>
start feeling really old when you hear 16 and 17 year olds you're playing against. Anything else, guys? All right, thank you Hi, guys. very much, guys. Thanks for the hospitality. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.